Okay, in this video we're going to look at two concepts, the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor. Uh, both are really important when we get to fractions later on. So lowest common multiple, which we abbreviate sometimes to the LCM, lowest common multiple um, of two numbers we're going to look at. Um, lowest common multiple. So what we do to find the lowest common multiple. Firstly, list the multiples of both numbers separately. Okay. And then secondly, we need to look for the lowest one in both of the lists. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. We list the multiples of both of the numbers separately and we just look for the lowest number which appears in both of the two lists. Okay, so let's just do an example. Find the lowest common multiple of uh, 5 and uh, let's do 12. Oh, that's probably a bit big. Ah, oh, let's do it anyway. Okay, find the lowest common multiple of 5 and 12. Here we go. So the steps are to list the multiples. Here we go. So 5. Let's list the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It gets boring, doesn't it? 30, 35, 40. Um, I'm just going to stop it there and see. That might be enough. We'll, we'll check. Let's do the multiples of 12. Okay, 12. And what we'll want to do is we want to stop at where we get a number that's in both of those lists. So 12 isn't in that list. 24. 36 is not in both those lists, 48 not in both those lists, and then 60. Now, none of these numbers so far is in this list, but I think 60 will be in this list. If I keep going, 45, 50, 55, and 60, there it is. 60 is the first number that appears in both of those multiple lists. So that means the LCM of 5 and 12 is equal to 60, the lowest common multiple. Common means it's in both of the lists, lowest because it's the lowest number that works, and multiple. Let's do another example of that. I might pick one that has a bit, something a bit of a lower, more number. Find the LCM of 3 and, let's do 3 and 5, let's do 3 and 5, okay. Okay, here we go. Multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, etc, etc. Multiples of 5. Multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, you're telling me to stop? Fantastic, yes. 15 is in this list. 15 of this list. So the LCM, lowest common multiple of 3 and 5, is 15. Let's do one more to make sure it's crystal clear. Lowest common multiple of um, 7 and... Oh, let's do 7 and... Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll choose a different number. It might be slightly more interesting. 6 and 4. Okay. Now, just looking at the previous example, the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5, can you see how it ended up being 15, which is just 3 times 5? And the um, when you multiply the two numbers in LCM, you, it, you always get um, a common multiple of 15. It will be in both of their lists. But it's not always the lowest common multiple. So here, you might guess that the lowest common multiple would be 24. Let's have a look. 6, the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, there it is, uh, 30, etc, etc, etc. Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, etc, etc. So yes, 24 is in both of the lists. But the lowest common multiple is actually 12 there. Okay, so 12 is in both the list. So no, it is not 24. The lowest common multiple of those two numbers is 12. Hope that makes sense. 
Now, let's have a look at another next concept, which is the um, highest common factor. Highest common factor. I wonder if you can figure out what this is abbreviated to. Yes, you're right, it's the HCF, highest common factor. And we do the exact same thing. We list, list the factors of both numbers. I'm just going to abbreviate numbers to numbers. List the factors of both numbers and look this time for the biggest, the biggest number that appears in, in both. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have an example of this. Okay, uh, an example here. Find the highest common factor of 20 and 12. Okay, let's have a look. Let's list the factors of 20 first. Factors of 20. Always 1, 2 goes in, 3 doesn't, 4, 5, 6 doesn't, 7, 8, 9, 10 does, and then 20 itself. Okay, 10 is the halfway point, and then 20. Let's list the factors of 12. We did this before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 12. Okay, so we've listed all the factors, and now we need to look for the highest one. Well, what's the highest number that's in both lists? 6, no, 4, 4 it is. So the highest common factor of 20 and 12 is 4. And it's the biggest number that goes into both, and that makes sense. Okay? Let's just do one or two more examples of that, and I think you're good to go. HCF of um, 30 and uh, 12. No, we did 12. Let's do, 10. Let's do 18. 30 and 18. Okay? Um, what's your first guess that it might be? It's, a, it's the biggest number that goes into both. So, you know, 6 goes into 30 and 6 goes into 18. Could it be that? Maybe. Um, what's a bigger number that goes into 30? Uh, 10? No, 10 doesn't go into 18. Uh, 9 goes into 18, but 9 doesn't go in there. So it's probably, si it's probably 6. Let's just check it. 30. What are the factors of 30? 1, 2, 3, 4 doesn't, 5 does. 6 does, 7, 8, 9, 10 does, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 does, and that's the halfway point, and then 30. Let's list the factors of 18. 1, 2, 3, 4 doesn't, 5 doesn't, 6, 7, 8, 9 does, that's the halfway point, and 18. What's the biggest number that's in both? We were right. It's equal to 6. So that's how you find the highest common factor. Go away and have lots of fun finding highest common factors. It's a real hoot. See ya.